Welcome back to the second part of my tarot deck collection. I'm doing it in sequels or parts because my table and setup only can fit so much. Okay, as I said in my first video, this all is a result of a three months time collecting, trading and buying decks. I am almost close to the finish line with my wanted decks. And now I'm showing you the pit stop or the conclusion that is not final. So I can remember myself later and watch my own video and, and know Although I have written down when I got which deck and so forth. So I too can see what I had at what point of the time. Okay, without blabbering much, let us begin with here the Steampunk Tarot by Barbara Moore. And I am sorry, I can't remember the artist's name, which was important, but I really forgot because there are other steampunk decks also, and I've seen this one distinguished by the Barbara Moore connection. So, as you can see, who knows, who not, they are trimmed. They had this black border and also edged it black. And this is one of my all-time favorite decks also, the Steampunk Tarot. Next is the Romantic Tarot. I haven't had time to make a review of this deck yet. I had it almost over a month now. But I had so many other decks coming in, so I postponed this one, so I really, really have to pay attention to my doings. I need some kind of a structure in my in my life generally i'm usually all, all all over the place okay the romantic tarot this i bought the steampunk tarot was a result of a swap another favorite of mine the green witch tarot love 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 this deck this is i have said it so many times in so many videos already that this is my go-to deck and my home deck because of the environment and traditions that are depicted in this beautiful deck the green witch tarot also bought and i trimmed off the sides a little bit top and bottom also a really really a little but from the sides a little bit more so it was not convenient for me Okay, the next is the Shadowscapes, which I got as a trade, and it is in Spanish. 
I can read 1 to 10 now in Spanish and know how the tarot cards are called in Spanish because of this deck or thanks to this deck. The camera is not really zooming awesomely well or not at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. So the shadowscapes which is already trimmed, it came to me like this. Okay, next is the ghost tarot, aged black, myself, and this is another just deep awesome deck. I just get can get lost in these images all the time. So yeah. The Ghost Tarot by David Corsi or Corsi look at the strength card. This is just awesome. At, and it reveals really quite a lot this deck. So next is the Symbolon, which is considered a, I don't know, a bastard child of a oracle and tarot deck. Some use it as tarot decks, some use it as oracle decks. It was made to be used as a past life communicating or uh, discovering deck. I use it a lot for Tarot readings. This reveals a lot of the relationship and the deeper issues of the personality and other traits. So the symbol cut as a trade. Next is the Tarot of Master, the Vachetta deck, with keywords on the side. Really great deck if you want to learn the pip decks. You can trim the edges away later, but the Vachetta deck has been recolored. This is much brighter and the colors have been changed. But it does the work. I love these Italian ancient decks a lot. I'm not so keen on the Marseille deck. I don't think I want it at all. It doesn't just speak to me. Okay, the Tarot of Master. And the Tarot of Master, the name is after the Vachetta as a master of tarot decks. So, the Mystical Fairy. Tarot, whimsical, 
light really full of elementals and a great story runs through every suit but I am so with sadness I must say this deck doesn't speak to me at all it is not a perfect match unfortunately this I got as a trade from a friend because I gave her the Anna K self-published version the deck was not cooperating with me and she is really really happy with the Anna K right now I wish I would because I loved the artwork a lot and the whole idea of the Anna K deck but it just kept flipping me off and mocking me I wouldn't believe it if I didn't experience it myself so she bought me this deck in return for the Anna K and the mystical fairy tarot next is the joy the beef I am um, not sure how to pronounce it it is trimmed and this one i bought and this was the really first deck after my initial rider white deck the camera is really not working with me i hope you can make out something just wants to show you but then pulls away again maybe my hands are shaking too much well, by Paulina Cassidy if I'm not wrong the artwork is just beautiful I love this deck also and you can't be fooled by the whimsical look this deck hits really hard right to the feels tells you the truth so joy de vivre trimmed back and the mystical forest or mythical mystical forest i am now getting messed up with everything i haven't slept all night and it's midday next day so mystical forest yes this is it this is a trade result and I have trimmed it and edged it another beautiful deck I have gotten the decks I really fell in love from the first sight so I have gotten some as an excess trade something something which i knew i didn't maybe click and i have traded those away so this is the mystical forest amazing this was the part two of my tarot deck collection pit stop video so i will be making a cut here and we'll be back with a third video i uh, am going to upload them all together and we'll be leaving the links of the other videos down below thank you for watching and see ya